Hey, what is up, guys? Pine Belt Beer Reviews back here again with you today for another one. And uh, this one that I have here today, uh, just got today actually, is the Green Flash uh, Citrus Session India Pale Ale uh, Hop Odyssey Limited Release Series. This is the um, the uh, new labels that they have now. Kind of prefer these 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 new labels. I don't really care for as much. I really kind of like the older labels. These ones just kind of look a little generic to me now. Anyway, that's just a very minor. That's not even a complaint. That's just me bickering. Uh, Best Buy fifteen December fifteenth, twenty fifteen. Get it is a four point five percent ABV session IPA sixty five IBU. Um, it has the citra hops in it, which are apparently more like a kind of savory type of hop instead of a uh, 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 kind of you know piney uh, or sweeter citrusy hop. Even though citra, you would think it'd be citrusy. It's a uh, eighty. What was it? Eighty seven, eighty eight on Beer Advocate, which is a very good score. Bros haven't looked at it, and it gets three point seven on Untapped. Had this one once before. Uh, on draft, let's see, taste enlightenment is what that says. I uh, had it on draft. I can smell the hops from here, and I'm not, it's the bottle's not even near me. Had it on draft at a bar once, probably a year and a half ago, and uh, I remember it was really, in, it was, I had to get kind of used to it because it was, it was different. It was, it was definitely different. It's very, it, it, I remember the hops being very herby. Um, so let's go ahead and pour it and see if I get that. All right, sorry, my camera died on me again. It tends to want to do that, but I haven't finished pouring it yet. Let me just go aggressive so we can get a head on it. Too aggressive. Okay, there we go. So as I said, I can definitely smell it now. It is extremely pungent. Um, and uh, it reminds me the hops remind me of a smell. I won't get into it because that's a different topic, something I'm not going to talk about on this channel. But I've been to parties before that had uh, more than just drinking going on and um, it reminds me of that smell a little bit to be honest uh, very like I said very herby um, earthy hop aroma going on with this for sure uh, kind of a almost like when I say earthy I mean almost kind of like a soil earthy kind of um, aroma that's why I, I, I paused for a minute because it was so it was so pungent. It's 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 a dank uh, hop aroma for sure. Um, I was just seeing if it said anything else. It just says 100% citrus hops. So this is made with 100% citrus hops. So with that pour, we are getting um, you know you can see like just kind of a very let me not spill this on my carpet. Uh, we are getting like just like very golden uh, appearance that is more or less clear, but uh, yeah, it's actually very clear. I mean, uh, not not a lot of uh, carbonation going on in it either, uh, but just a very kind of uh, pale golden color, not straw gold, but just a pale gold. One finger of head that was probably more like a finger and a half uh, if I wasn't rambling. Seems like a very solid, yet um, also very fizzy head, uh, but it is definitely a, a dense, fizzy head. Um, and uh, yeah, so it looks good. Let's just go ahead and get all up in there for the aroma. I can smell it from here, but let's let's go let's go deeper. So yeah, very piney, very herby, um, like spice cabinet herby. Uh, you know, like cooking spices, cooking herbs. I've heard, and I guess, um, 
I guess I, c I could say that this this is kind of this is kind of accurate. It's kind of almost has like a basil kind of um, aroma to it. And actually, I have a uh, that I, I mean to review. Maybe my next review, I'll do it. I have a, a particular beer that has basil in it. But this kind of has like this this one here has a definite kind of like almost uh, basil um, kind of comparable type of aroma to it uh, going on too. But then there's also um, a little bit of citrus, orange rind, like orange peel rind. And then some grains. Um, yeah, this is definitely a very pungent, hop forward, excuse me, session IPA. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and go for the flavor on it now. Yep, the aroma pretty much carries straight through to the flavor. 100% hops, definitely. There's some malt sweetness on the back. Very full flavor um, for 4.5%. A uh, little bit of that, uh, that orange peel rind on the back end as well. It's kind of just full, just herbal hops in the front, a little bit of malt sweetness towards the back, and then that sort of bittersweet orange rind on the finish. Um, so yeah, it's the flavor is, in terms of um, Session IPAs that I've had, the flavor is very... Uh, is very top notch for me personally. I've uh, haven't had a whole lot of session IPAs. I've had the uh, the the Rebel Rider um, from Sam Adams and a few others, uh, but this one is probably the most fullest in flavor I've had so far. The mouth feels crisp, typical um, kind of IPA mouth feel, dry finish because of those hops. However, very drinkable, very refreshing. Um, carbonation isn't too, 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 too. Um, when I say great, I mean not too overwhelming. It's there, just lending a crispness to this. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I just got done eating, eating a, uh, a big dinner, so I'm kind of food drunk at the moment. So I'm just, try I'm trying to keep, keep up with what I'm trying to uh, say. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's it's very good. Uh, I would definitely say for me that this is, in terms of session IPAs, um, this is definitely an A plus for me. Session IPAs aren't really everyone's favorite. A lot of people don't really get the point of it. Uh, I kind of enjoy them. I kind of get what they're they're going for. You, you want something that's full, flavorful, has a good bite to it, but you don't want to have to drink it and say, you know, okay, I'm backing off, like, it's, I'm gonna have to, this, that was, you know, 7% uh, that I just drank, um, I'd love another one, but I'd probably be feeling it pretty hard if I had another one, so, you can have two of these and, uh, you know, not be really any worse for the wear, I don't think so, uh, yeah, A plus on the Green Flash Citra Session, Citra Session IPA, uh, from, uh, with, I think they're from California, if I'm not, San Diego, yeah, California. So yeah, A+, and uh, until next time, guys, thank you for watching.